We're really delighted to be chosen as, as Connections global sponsor. Amadeus fundamentally connects hundreds of thousands of travel buyers and sellers throughout the global ecosystem. We feel we're at the heart of travel connections and therefore what better event to sponsor to connect buyers and sellers and exec travel executives to shape the future of travel in their discussions at this event. Emerging trends for luxury for me, I think has shifted quite significantly. Um, if you think about travel overall, commercial flying, we've, been, we've had 100 years of commercial flying. Travel has changed more in the ten, last 10 years than in the last 100 years. Luxury, for me, is far less about opulence and far more about travel experience. Um, one of the best examples I've got of, of luxury travel is um, I went to the Seychelles with my wife um, a few years ago. We had the opportunity to do a Robinson Crusoe experience on a desert island, just a hamper of fruit and some drinks under a canopy, but complete isolation, not a soul in sight for an entire day. That to me was a real memorable experience and what I consider luxury of the environment, but yet it wasn't okay, it was, there was a reasonable price to it, but it wasn't what I call opulence. And it's about the experience and the luxury memories. That's really where I think everyone in luxury travel needs to start pinpointing in how do they deliver the personalized service appropriate for each and every traveler. I think the key challenges in the luxury sector um, is, is how, how luxury needs to continue to evolve. As I said before, what was considered luxury a few years ago is now becoming more mainstream. People will continue to evolve as the, um, the money that people have available and equally their experiences. People are traveling far, far more these days. Therefore, the challenge is how do you get personal and, and what do you understand? And the more you understand about that individual traveler's requirements and what is personal to them. Um, I think Gabriella was talking about someone wanting you know, bits in their orange juice. That was their luxury experience. You wouldn't say uh, bitty orange was luxury, but for that individual on a plane, that's what they wanted. And it's about that personalized service. And I think that's going to be the challenge is how do you continue to evolve luxury going forward? Technology for us is, is, is the fundamental enabler of why, why travel has evolved so much over the last few years. It facilitates the ability to, to connect far distant places and activities with an individual sitting in their home or on their mobile or on a bus or a train in understanding what's available and actually not just being searching it, such as a Google, but actually being able to search and book it. And that's the fundamental difference. We enable and facilitate travelers to book those. From a luxury travel experience, Everything through from, ev from 140 plus airlines that we facilitate, we provide their luxury upper class, business class, as well as their standard class services. And the availability and the information that's provided as part of what are called personalized customer experience management systems. And the more you understand the background of the traveler and what someone considers luxury is perhaps someone else's mainstream. It's really about the individual and how that evolves. In terms of international business and what's happening in the global travel world, um, as I said, our economic studies shared that we're entering in the golden, the golden decade of travel. Travel is going to outstrip GDP almost double in the next 10 years. People are investing more. They're putting their disposable income into travel because they realize with the events around the world that you can't guarantee your future long term. Yeah, it's not always certain. And therefore, um, the expansion of BRICS, you know, so you've got Brazil, Russia, India and China. China right now is 2% of the world's travel. In 10 years time, it'll be 20% of the world's travel. Companies need to understand the differentiation of how, with their influx of new travelers from outside of their traditional markets, how do they service them? What experience are they looking for? And at the same time, how do you differentiate when you've got such a huge amount of increased travel around the world?